We're now gonna start talking about design patterns, which is one of my all-time favorite topics. I've been working with design patterns and working on design patterns and applying design patterns and documenting design patterns since the early 1990s. So it's been, gosh, uh, 25 plus years at this point, taking a pattern-oriented perspective to the world. And you'll see here that our focus is, of course, on patterns for C++. No big surprise there. So what we're gonna do first is just kind of talk about the big picture, what are we gonna be covering here? And of course, what we're gonna be covering are a bunch of patterns from the so-called Gang of Four book, the design pattern book. I'll also tell you other places you can learn about patterns because it's a vast literature out there that's worth being aware of. And I'll show you where you can find the examples of our programs. These are actually C++ programs, not Java programs, but uh, I have a Java version of this as well. Okay, so, we're gonna be focusing on these so-called Gang of Four or Goff design patterns. They are from the book, Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software, which you should have. It's a great book to have a copy of. We're gonna be applying these patterns in the context of a case study app, which is the expression tree case study. And you'll see that there's several different variants of this case study, which you can get at my GitHub repository. And we're gonna focus both on pattern-oriented design like how do you come up with ways of arranging your classes and your structs and your objects. And then we're also, of course, going to show how that design translates into code, in our case, C++ code, although what's interesting about this is these patterns also have a relevance in other languages, many other languages, Java, C Sharp, Python, C even. So uh, you'll see that there's, there's a lot of commonality. The example we're gonna look at is this expression tree processing app, which you can get at my GitHub repository here. And uh, I've improved this quite a bit since previous versions of this course. And so it's using sort of the latest and greatest features of STL and C++ and so on. This is, even though we're gonna spend, you know, a number of days talking about patterns, it really only scratches the surface of this fascinating topic. And if you wanna learn more about these things, go ahead and take a look at my digital learning website where I've got links to tons of other resources talking about patterns and frameworks and Java and C++ and Android and Unix and all kinds of good things. Years ago, I created a course that focused on patterns and frameworks for concurrent and network software. We hopefully will have some time to talk a little bit about this at the very end of the course, depends on how things go in terms of the time we have left. But um, if we don't have time to cover all this material in this course and you're curious about these topics, feel free to go ahead and take a look at my playlist. And as I mentioned before, if you look at the last dozen or so videos in that course where I'm wearing the, the maroon shirt, I'm talking about patterns in C++ using the case study app we're gonna be talking about here. And uh, so if, if there are topics that you need to get a, a head up, heads up on before we cover them in course, that's a very, very good place to go to learn that information. This, of course, is the textbook. This is the famous Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software book, or the Gang of Four book. Uh, this came out in 1994. I was a reviewer of this book back in 1993, and actually uh, am acknowledged at the beginning, and some of the stuff that I had worked on at the time is actually cited in the book, and we'll talk about that. It's, it's pretty cool. That's how I got my start with patterns and um, these are a bunch of great guys. I've, I've met and worked with all of them. Uh, sadly, John Blasides is no longer with us. He died, unfortunately, of uh, uh, cancer about 15 years ago. It's kind of hard to believe it's been so long, but he was a really, really good guy. And uh, they're all good guys, very, very knowledgeable. One of these days, I hope that uh, they'll come out with another edition of this book that will be forward looking and, and cover the brave new world of patterns. There's also lots of other material on patterns that's worth looking at above and beyond the Gang of Four patterns. I've written a lot of the books in this area. If you go to my website, you can find out about some of the books. We will hopefully have time to cover some of these topics towards the end, although uh, they're a little bit advanced, but they're a good way to get a heads up on things that you may cover if you take other courses at Vanderbilt, especially other courses that I teach.